three of the latest smartphone cameras to see how they cope with low light. The Huawei Mate 30 Pro, iPhone 11 Pro and Google Pixel 4 all boast that they take impressive shots at night, but will any leave the competition in the dark? I'll also take some photos on the iPhone 7 Plus from 2016 to give us an idea of how much phone cameras have improved. My first stop is this bridge in London. We're going to capture a cityscape at night, starting with Huawei Mate 30 Pro. And Huawei says its phone takes really good pictures at night because the camera sensor in here is 125% bigger than the one in the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So it lets in more light. So how did they stack up? All three of the new phones took sharp, bright photos of the skyline at night. The Mate 30 Pro picture looked slightly more crisp, but the colours were less saturated. The iPhone 11 Pro photo seemed more vibrant, but not quite as sharp, while the Pixel 4 seemed to have a nicer colour balance with a bluish sky, rather than the orange tint that we saw in the others. But for me, there was no clear winner here. All of them took nice photos. So my next stop is the embankment. I've come to have my picture taken with the London Eye, and I've got Soiler here using the Google Pixel 4 first. Google says its special source is computational photography, so it's going to take a string of photos and stitch them all together and use machine learning to clean up any noise or artifacts, so I have to hold still. All three of the new phones took a brighter photo than the old iPhone 7 Plus. Once again, the Mate 30 Pro seemed to take the sharpest photo. If you look at my face, it's in focus, and it also picked out a lot of detail on my jumper. The Pixel 4 photo was pretty sharp too, and I felt the colour balance was more flattering. I'd probably be happy to post this one on my Instagram. But in this location, I think the iPhone 11 Pro struggled. It didn't pick out as much detail in my jumper, and the colours just looked weird, no matter how many times we took the shot. When Apple introduced the iPhone 11 Pro, it said it would be better at taking photos in dimly lit bars, and it doesn't get more dim than this. This is Gordon's Wine Bar in London, mainly lit by candles, so let's see how the phones manage. And the difference with the iPhone 11 Pro is that I don't have to activate night mode. It does that automatically when it detects it's dark, and it's telling me to hold still while it stitches together several photos, just like the Pixel 4. All three new phones took a picture that wouldn't have been possible on a phone a few years ago. Just like the previous shots, the Mate 30 Pro photo came out brighter overall and sharper, and it's hard to believe this was taken in candlelight. Once again, the Pixel 4 had a more flattering colour balance, and there was less detail on the iPhone 11 Pro shot, which you can see if you zoom in on Soiler's hair. <laughs> So this might be the biggest challenge for the phones yet. We're in St. James Park. It's very dark. There's no lights here. So will the cameras be able to pick up any photos at all? And will we get robbed for waving around a few grand worth of cameras? Let's find out. That's, looks just like it's daytime. The fact that any of these phones took a clear shot in near darkness is impressive. If you zoom in, you can tell that none of them are crystal clear, but that's probably not the point here. The new phones all took snaps in the dead of night that looked like they were taken during the day. It's pretty impressive how much phone cameras have improved in just a few years, thanks to new hardware and a lot of heavy lifting by the software. Now, I found some of those night mode shots, for me, looked a little bit artificial, and in some cases, the phones took, in my opinion, nicer shots just in the regular camera mode. The real test was that near-darkness shot taken in St. James Park. That was truly impressive, but I wonder how useful that will be for a majority of people and whether people will really want to take lots of pictures in near complete darkness remains to be seen.